I'm Tom. I'm Lewis. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Food, Food Frenzy. Frenzy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what Food Frenzy is, is me and Tom are going to be going to different restaurants with similar items on their menu, and we are going to be figuring out which one is better through a scoring guide that we have created. This episode, we are going to be going through Culver's versus Steak and Shake on the Steak Burger Battle. Steak Burger Showdown. The burger is 50 <laughs> points, the shake is 30 points, and we have 20 bonus points to uh, give out at our discretion. So, like, let's say unbelievably amazing service or they give it to us for free for no reason or they're just super nice or maybe they have something just extra special that we don't know about and we don't see coming so we're just leaving that 20 points open there to be rewarded at our discretion all right so for the burger we're gonna have seasoning freshness mouthfeel bun quality and configuration and for the shake we're gonna have refreshability frostiness and the vanilla factor vanilla factor is going to be a really big factor yes especially with a chocolate shake uh-huh <laughs> <laughs> Hey, could I get a butter burger cheese double? Just the sandwich? The cheeseburger double? Yeah. What would you like on it? Uh, whatever normally comes on it. Uh, ketchup, mustard, pickle, onion? Sounds good. The basket? Uh, just the burger, please. Alright, be 566. Uh, could I also get a oh, small right. chocolate shake with, uh, or vanilla shake, my bad. Small vanilla small shake? Small vanilla shake, yes, please. Okay, 935. Alright, great, thanks. I mean, service. What can you? What can we make fresh for you? That's what she said. Yeah. So it's gotta be fresh. It's gotta be fresh. And like, I I trust her. I mean, I trust her too. Yeah. There's no way she could be wrong, right? All right. All right. So I just took my first bite. We filmed that on the other camera, but we figured for mostly us eating it and our initial reactions, it would probably be better on this phone and things like that. We both just had a bite, both super good. It was amazing. So configuration wise, um, I feel I, like it could be a little bit better. It could be a bit better. I don't know how big of a fan I am with all of the ingredients on the bottom. I personally like usually stuff like lettuce and tomatoes on the bottom and then toppings such as like uh, ketchup and mustard on top of the burger. Is there even lettuce um, on this burger? There is no lettuce There's on no the burger. So burger. she said it came with ketchup, mustard, ketchup, uh, tomato, onions, pickles. Pickles? No, she didn't say no tomato. No tomato. She didn't say tomatoes. It That's was, weird. It, it came with everything she said, but everything on the burger is on situated right in the middle. Like there's two. Uh, is the cheese on the bottom? Yeah, the cheese is on the bottom of the burger. Like the burger is just kind of like upside down, you know? Okay, so first. Uh, category of scoring or thing we're going to base it off of is seasoning one two three eight. probably going to hit it with a seven and a half okay. 7.5 you could just say with a one number not probably going to hit it with a <laughs> no i'm going with eight because now it's nothing like it's you can tell the burger was seasoned because of how good it tastes um it's not dry but the seasoning doesn't add a ton of flavor. It's fairly uh, simplistic, but in this case, sim simplistic was very good and it was very well executed. Um, I'm not gonna put it any higher though, cause it just wasn't over the top. So I'm going with an eight. Okay, I gave it a 7.5 because I feel like it's good, but it definitely could be better. Not the best I've ever had. Yeah. That's what I went with. All right. Next, freshness. Yeah, next is freshness. I think it was pretty fresh. All the pretty ingredients fresh. seemed pretty good. Uh, the so, burger was hot. Bun was good. Everything seemed pretty fresh. On three? Yep. Ready. One, two, three. I nine. I'm going to get it with a nine, too. Nine. Not okay. Bad. I should just say just the number. Just say the like number. Say the got number. It, got it, got it. I'm going with a nine because 
I mean, the freshness, it, like, the, the toppings weren't, like, the freshest, like, most crispiest onions. It wasn't, like, the best of that stuff. But, I mean, the burger was hot. It was out to us fast. Um, I feel like it was made right when we ordered it, which is very good. And, what and the, it wasn't like sitting out for a while. The first yeah. thing that we said we could, like one or whatever we got here was, what can we make fresh for you? Yep. Yep. And they stood by it. Yep. So we're going yeah. nine all, I feel, all across the board with that. I feel the same way. That's Mouth why I feel. Nine. Mouth, Mouth feel. feel. So the bun was for me, I mean, uh, let's just, okay. what, do, what do you think we're going to score it? One, two, three, nine. Nine. Yeah. The mouth, like, it was amazing, I think. Like, it was just a party in your mouth. Um, not quite perfect uh, with the toppings, but as far as the burger and the bun, very amazing. Very good. I feel the same. Great burger. Yeah. Next category is bun quality. So, are you ready? Three, yeah. two, two, one, eight. nine. I'm giving it an eight. It was a great bun. Well toasted. It was not soggy. Very impressive. Um... I mean, it was it was a great bun, especially for a fast food restaurant, but uh, not you know homemade, not anything like that. All right, I give it a nine because it is pretty. It's pretty good for a fast food restaurant. Uh, I really like it was even toasting all the way around. Uh, super squishy, seemed fresh, mm -hmm. uh, really good. The flavor was good too, but it didn't really take over from the flavor of the burger. Yeah. So overall, good bun. Next category is configuration. Ready? One, two, three, six. Seven. I'm going with a six on configuration. It was okay, you know? Um, as far as like the burgers being like on the bun and it all being one thing, it was pretty good. But the uh, toppings is what, what I'm having issues with. They had all of the toppings on the bottom, they were all in the very middle of the burger, so not every bite had toppings. So uh, that 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 was an issue for me, but all around great burger. Yeah, I th I gave mine a seven because lettuce is a key input like key ingredient for me for a burger. Anytime I get a burger, I want lettuce on it. Mm -hmm. uh, and that does I mean I feel like that has to do with like the crispiness, like the uh, any yeah. Anyway, anyway. Uh, the even spreading of the toppings wasn't really there. Um, mm -hmm. I I gave it a seven though instead of a six. Was that I like how they put the cheese on the bottom. I feel like if you yeah. do that, you kind of I know switches it up. They're doing something different. I, I, I like the cheese cool. on the bottom. I like I did like it a lot. All right, so now we're gonna be trying out the, the shake. shake, vanilla shake. So the categories for this are frostiness, refreshability, and the vanilla factor. Okay, so the first sip that I just took, first of all, it was really hard to get out. Which, uh, and it has been it, sitting it in the car be. for I mean, a it's been bit. sitting, but it only tasted like milk, so I'm going to taste another one. Mm-hmm. It's a good shake. Mm hmm It's definitely a good shake. I don't know how good it is, though. So the first category is frostiness. This is kind of thickness. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean the thicker the better. It's did you like the consistency. Right? right? Mm hmm Three, two, one... Eight. eight. Yeah. Okay, so I hit it with an eight because, I don't know, it was really good, it was really refreshing, flavor was good, but at the same time, I don't want to be sucking on a straw for like four minutes. It was yeah. pretty thick. Like, when if I want to shake, I want to drink it right away and not like die from... It had the ability to drink it and you could tell that it was a drink, not something you were supposed to be eating with a spoon, but it was still like thick. Like, you could tell... You're drinking a shake, not a smoothie. It you took know? it took some effort to get it. Like once you, you get mouth. it out of the straw, and then like it, it was really well set up with the milk and the uh, custard all together. That was really good. <laughs> all right. Next category is refreshability. So we're looking at you get this on a hot summer day. How is this gonna make you feel? All right. Ready? One, two, three, Seven eight. Seven and a half. I went with an eight because it. Although it was fairly thick, in another way, it was still like a drink, you know? Some shakes, it feels like you should be eating with a spoon. Mm -hmm. This was very, this was on the thinner side of shakes for me personally, I think. It was the kind of thing you can drink on a hot summer day, you're gonna feel good, you're gonna feel refreshed, and you're gonna feel ready 
just like I do now, because we're sitting in a hot car. My car is all black. It's freaking hot. And this this shake made me feel better, so I'm giving it an eight. All right, so I gave it a seven and a half because. I don't know. It's a little. Th if, even if it's thick, it's gonna hurt my stomach a little bit, and that's not make, really making me feel refreshed at all. Uh, that might, just might be their custard. Now the final one is the vanilla factor. Three, two, one, three. Eight. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Whoa! I went with the three. Holy moly! Because, in my opinion, it doesn't taste like much. Like I don't think that the vanilla is all there. I don't think that the vanilla is, I don't know. Holy when you're drinking, moly. when you're drinking a Destroy vanilla, it. when a you're drinking three? a vanilla shake, <laughs> hold, on, hold on, when you're drinking a vanilla shake, all right. I mean, personally, like I'm a big fan of vanilla bean stuff where it's like your taste, you're drinking it. And like the vanilla is the flavor. Like this kind of feels like the vanilla is the background, but obviously we didn't get anything else in it. You know, the, uh, I just didn't, I, it just wasn't very flavorful for me. So that's why I went with a three. All right, I give it an eight. Uh, it, it tastes like vanilla for sure, but um, I feel like it could definitely have a better flavor, uh, more defined flavor, because it, it kind of just tastes like milk in a way. Yeah. But that's, it's still an eight, still good flavor, still pretty good shake overall. Yeah, mine, it, it, I just, for me, it just tasted like thick milk. With the bonus points, so this 20 points possible that you can add on. Uh, I mean, Tom dealt with the people mostly. I was in the passenger seat. I didn't really have to do with uh, the interaction between the workers. I'm going to give personally three bonus bonus points. Three bo bonus points. Bonus points are going to be hard to get. All right. Uh, I felt like the service was really good. Uh, they dealt with me well, considering it was the morning. Um, and like right when they opened. And right when they opened. We came right when they opened. They were very nice. Uh, I asked questions. They answered them. Um, and they had patience from, from you going back forth, back and forth. Yeah, back forth. and forth in the drive-thru, trying to figure out where the window was. So I'm giving them three <laughs> bonus <laughs> points. They had really good service. All right. That's good. All, All right. right. On to the next place. I say we don't even we don't even have to worry about the gimbal. We yeah. can just keep this here the whole time. It's perfect. It's like your phone fits there. And it won't move that much because I'm not moving and holding it. Oh. <laughs> Making my way downtown. Going to steak and shake. Gonna get a burger. And a shake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so if you're in... Oh, there goes pit stains. Well... I have a Ford, it sucks. Ugh. I don't think I can put that in a video. So we have arrived at Steak and Shake. They have free Wi-Fi. They have free Wi-Fi, oh my God. That could be Holy bonus moly. Point. Hello. Hello. Thank you for stopping Steak and Shake. Give me one moment, okay? Sounds good. Okay, what can I get for you today, sir? Uh, could I get the original double steak burger with cheese? Just okay, as... the double cheese with the fries? Uh, just the burger, please. Okay, what would you like on that? Uh, whatever normally comes with it. It's nothing, it's plain. But okay. But would you like everything? Is that uh, lettuce, tomato, pickles, onion, mustard, ketchup? Yeah. Yes, please. Okay. Anything else for you? Uh, could I also get a small vanilla shake? The junior, junior vanilla shake? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, Our hands shaking. Vanilla. Okay. Is that complete your order? Yep. All right. There you go. Six forty-four. Okay. Please All right. Go to the window. Thank also, you. Thank cheap. you. It is cheaper than uh, Culver's, but I feel like yeah. the shake's gonna be smaller. It's considerably cheaper. Yeah. <clears throat> Junior seems smaller, I and mean, we can compare. We still got this bad boy. All right. Ah. Good quality takes time. That's what they say. Hello. 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 All right. Thank you. Nice lady. She's very nice. I do. I do appreciate that. <laughs> well, we, we rolled up to the window. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sat there for three minutes. <laughs> We're still just sitting here. We're doing great. Wow. 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 Saps.
Let me match your body parts. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's go. All right. Okay, thank you. See you. Thank you. They're the exact same size. That's cool. Just that kidding. Sign. It's not B roll time. It's not B roll time. Ah, it's not camera time either, I guess. Oh, crap. Okay, this one. So already just looking at it, uh, let me get the categories out, but the, the, the Culver's burger was in a box. This one is only wrapped. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, it's more likely to fall apart. If something lands on it, it's less likely to be protected. But that doesn't mean too much. They're not saving the toitles out here. No. All right, time to unwrap this bad boy. It's cold right there. Do it right there. Oh, that is ice cold. What? It's an onion. Holy yeah. moly. So, first of all, so the bun's like dented. The, it's the top of the bun. I think we just poked it, but I mean, we it's really right uneven. Here, no, Look like how uneven part. it is. All of it's on the side. Open that. Let's open the burger up. So that's where the sauce was. That's right. not a lot of ketchup and mustard. But for ingredients wise, they look fresh. That tomato's red. The lettuce looks really good. Onions look good. These are regular onions, though, and Culver's had red onions. Yeah. I think I prefer red onions, but... Me too. And the pickles are, like, coming out of the burger. It's a lot of pickles. Yeah. It's, like, lo it's lopsided. Like, the pickles are only on the one side of the burger. All of the ingredients are on one side of the burger. The other side of the burger doesn't have all that much. Um, it's a bit odd. Yeah. I don't know what that one... Oh my god. It's falling out of it. Holy crap. First one, seasoning. seasoning. Three. On three. One, two, three. Two. two. Um, I went with the two because, like, on. It just. I don't think it was seasoned. And if it was seasoned, then. It, it was obvious. It didn't taste like it was seasoned. But it, I mean, it could have been worse. It could have been like burnt and completely dried yeah. and over seasoned. I'd yeah. say over seasoned would be worse than no seasoning. I disagree with you there. Like I'm saying like way over seasoned. Yeah. Um, if you're only tasting the seasoning then. I gave it a two because it's just the flavor is just strictly like meat. meat. It's it tastes like it's, ground beef. Yeah. Like definitely could be better there. Yeah. For sure. Alright, so freshness. On three? Yeah. One, two, three. I'm gonna give seven. it a seven. I went with a seven because, I mean, some mm. of the ingredients are, like the onions are pretty fresh. The lettuce was pretty fresh. I didn't think the tomato was all that fresh. The pickle, I don't, I couldn't tell. Um, yeah, and the, the burger, I felt like the burger was. It was hot. I mean, it was hot. I don't know, I, could, I wasn't sure if it was cooked to order. It, could have been it probably was they definitely we just had um, five minutes yeah it probably was cooked to order uh i gave mine a seven sorry for cutting you off um definitely could be better but i thought the ingredients were pretty fresh uh the lettuce is green like i was honestly surprised on how good the ingredients looked uh in the burger i mean it was a seven definitely could be better but uh surprised me i mean yeah it surprised me with the freshness it was fairly high quality in that sense all right, mouth, mouth feel. feel. One, two, three. Seven. Five. I was going to go a six, but I think I'm going to give it a seven because, I mean, the bun was good. The burger, I mean, was mostly a burger. Uh, the only reason why I gave it a seven and almost, almost gave it a six is just that it's not the same bite in every single bite. Like, the ingredients yeah. were just kind of, like, I feel like it was just, like, thrown on there and then they wrapped it around. Uh, I mean, as far as, like... The consistency, I did not like, I didn't feel like the tomato was the freshest. Like, it wasn't a crisp tomato. Yeah. And so, like, that and the pickle, I felt was, like, the pickle also was not crisp, which, to me, felt like it wasn't that, oh, uh, yeah. Crickets, crickets. <laughs> cricket noises. Yeah. Uh, what's it called? Fresh! 
I didn't think the pickle was all that fresh. Um, so therefore the consistency of kind of like an older tomato and the older pickle is just, it wasn't there for yeah. me. But I mean, as far as the bun and the uh, the meat, it was it was normal. It was okay. And this bun was slightly toasted, but not as toasted yeah. as the. Um, but we can get that on the next category, which is bun, bun quality. quality. All right, one, two, three, four. Three. I went with the four. I mean, it was toasted at least. I thought that was okay. It didn't. I didn't think like it didn't ruin the burger. It was an okay bun, but a bun should make the burger better. Like, it didn't seem, like, toasted all the way around. I mean, I think it was toasted evenly, it was but just, it just, like... I don't know. It was, it was mostly on the sides. Like, I, I didn't think it was it. really toasted on the bottom. Um, it didn't have any kind of, like, yeah, so crisp. It, and, and, like, the top of the burger, like, when we took it out, it was all kind of... is all over the place and cracked and such. I feel... Yeah, so I gave it a 3 to a 4. I'm probably going to change mine to a 4. Um... It's just, it's like every other fast food bun. Um, it was just kind of plain, uh, pretty thin. I like my buns a little bit thicker. The Culver's bun was thicker and looked it looked a lot better. Yeah, the Culver's bun just this one, looked better. Like you're like you look at the Culver's burger and the bun, and you're like, I want to eat that. Yeah. You know. I mean, this one was. I mean, I don't know if we indented it by poking it. I mean, yeah. Some spot was cold on that. Our also, thing. could have been as it, part it of the. It seems uh, kind of squished on there. Because uh, it was in a. It wasn't in the box. It was in just the wrap. That's yeah. gonna lead us into our next qual. Or our next category: configuration. Configure. Oh my god. All right. Are you ready? Yep. One, two, three. Two. One. All right, I gave mine a two because I feel like it's really hard to... I mean, it had, uh, like, the basic configuration down, which is that you got your bun, burger, ingredients, yeah. bun. Um, but just the way it was put together did not seem, like, appetizing at I all. I wanted to like, give it, it was, zero, if I'm going to be honest. It was just... That stuff was hanging out. It was uneven. Like, the, the, the burger, like, the bite with all of the stuff on it was too much because it just... You had you were eating like it's five mouthful, pickles in one yeah. bite. It was just a mouthful. You couldn't even taste the meat. And on the other side of the burger, all you got was bun, and there just wasn't any perfect bites in that burger that we got. I didn't I didn't feel like it was that great. And I think that I think the configuration really ruined it. All, all right, right it's time for the shake. Time for the shake. Sit back there. Think about what you've done. All right, so we got styrofoam cup. Obviously, I don't care about the environment. Recycling is just not in mind here at all. I mean, I, haven't even I mean, there's whipped it. cream on top. All right, that's points for style. Style. I no mean, cherry though. No cherry. Hmm. Wow. Okay, so first, first category we're going off of is frostiness. One, two, three, eight. nine. I went with a nine. I thought it. That's a really I good shake. I could definitely go to an eight point five for sure. That's uh, it's like it's good. It's ice. It's like you know what I'm saying. Like it's kind of icy. It's definitely um, it's cold. It's I mean it has a great consistency. Yeah, the consistency is really good. It came right out of the straw. It uh, but then once it was in your mouth, it's like it's it was a good mix yeah. of it was smooth. Yeah, but it was still thick, and especially for ice even, cream. Even but it was all even all all the way through. Yeah. Sure. That, that's a really good shake. Yeah. That's going to lead us right into our next category, refreshability. All right. All right. You ready? Yep. One, two, three, ten. Eight. Eight I went with a ten on refreshability. That's a good shake. All right. That's, it was very cold. It was icy. Um, it had great consistency. Like that's cooling you off. That's going to make you feel a lot better on a hot summer day. All right. That is really good. Yeah, I could probably move to an 8.5 again. Um, it it just is everything I'm looking for in shake. Yeah. It, it, the flavor's good. The refreshability's good. The way, like, it's cold. It's yeah. good. Even consistency all, all the way throughout. Just all around pretty good shake. That's going to move us to the vanilla factor. Three, two, one, nine. Eight. I mean, it's vanilla shake. Tastes like vanilla shake. Um, I mean, I don't really think it's that easy to mess up a vanilla shake. It's pretty basic flavor. I mean, I think it was very obvious and apparent that it was vanilla. The vanilla flavor was there. It was present. It was, it was good. You know, it it didn't taste like a plain shake. 
or like the vanilla was a was gonna be a background flavor to uh, some other ingredients. Like that was very flavorful and a very good shake. Yeah, I agree with you there for sure. All right, so now we're into the bonus points. It's a no for me. The she was nice. Um, I came up. There's nothing that stood out though. Nothing stood out. I mean, obviously, it took her a second to even say anything. Like I, I pulled up. We I said up hi right away, and she didn't respond. Waited a minute. I said hi again, and she said one moment, please. It's like I get it. You need to uh, serve other customers and stuff. Like that's totally okay, but. I, yeah. Personally, I just don't think yeah. it was rewarding of yeah. bonus points. Nothing, nothing really, special here. Yeah, nothing special. All right. So All right. There, there's our review from Steak and Shake. That's Steak and Shake versus Culver's. Holy crap. It is hot as a mug. Oh my God. Woo! All right. Thank you for tuning in on this week's version uh, episode, episode episode of food frenzy food frenzy with, with tom, tom and lewis lewis and tom uh so our conclusion was that culver's over steak and shake culver's had the better burger steak and shake had the better shake but culver's also had i mean i just feel like it's a better meal all around i feel like it's a better uh better service just better the, atmosphere yeah just that so nice. Just had lettuce, you burger. That's about just had lettuce. I bet, you, I bet you could ask and get lettuce. And uh, you could get lettuce. We just we just get whatever they say normally comes on it. So I mean that's Those just a personal good. preference of ours. Yep. So thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to tune in next week and also check out um, Goonie Gab. Goonie Gab, uh, the podcast. Also coming this week on F Agenda Day, you got a new AZ's analysis and a new. Hood Report. Two Minute Drill with Cole Sherman. That will also be dropping. Make sure to keep up with all of these other uh, network shows. Yep. It's going to be great. Yep. Thank you guys uh, for watching. Thank you for watching. See you next week. Lit.